Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in to AndrewCarsonIllustration.com. Yeah, well, I want to try dragging today. You guys want to try dragging today? Let's try dragging today. We're doing a dragon today from the seventh voyage of Sinbad. This dragon right here, it's him in action, defeating the Cyclops. And there he is again with his fiery flames. And uh, there's the final sketch. That's uh, the end of this video. That's where we're going to be. And that's where I want to base the painting on right there. That's what we'll be, be working. And here we go. Now at this stage of uh, this painting, I'm just worried about getting proportions and things right. So, and I'm basing it on this photo of this dragon. This is the dragon. This is what we're going to be doing, actually. I felt this was the most dramatic shot I could find of the dragon, so that's that's what I decided to base this on. Just trying to match it, pretty much. I'm just looking at the picture the whole time uh, on my desktop. Um, there it is again in the end. That's what we're going to end up with at the end of this vid. Chaining the dragon there. It's a good idea to chain up your dragon, kids. He doesn't eat the neighbors, you know. Kerwin Matthews up there dodging death. Put the corner there, you know. Make sure it's good firm lock there, you know. Hey, there he's in action again against the Cyclops. That Cyclops got a bad rap in that movie. He's getting beat up all the time. You know. Actually, the dragon didn't get a good deal either. He, he got a big harpoon stuck in him at the end. It wasn't his fault. Just being a dragon. Hey, Catherine Grant and Richard Ayer. Just had to throw them in there. They're so cool. You guys got to check out this movie. Incidentally, all these cool tunes, it's from the movie. Just saying. <laughs> Studying this dragon as I was drawing him, I noticed how... Oh, there's flames, fiery flames! Uh, where was I? Studying this dragon as I was sketching him out, I, I noticed that uh, there's a lot of things about him that reminded me of an alligator, his tail. And actually, his jaws reminded me of a snake. In a lot of ways. Uh, I think uh, Ray Harryhausen, who originally designed the, uh, the actual puppet from the film, um, I think he based a lot of that uh, off of a snake when he made the original monster. Ah, that's where we're going. Oh, I can't wait next week to start putting on the values. And then the color. We now have our sketch and we're set up for next week. Next week will be gray tones. We'll get all this done and rendered. And we're out of time, you guys. Thanks so much for stopping in. Um, if you enjoy these videos, uh, sign up to my blog at andrewcarsonillustration.com and I'll send them out to you on Sundays. I also offer extended tutorials for my $5 Patreon members. Links available on my site. And that's it, you guys. See you next week with all the gray values coming in on this guy. Uh, until then, have a safe week and um, be well.